I have a hand up back there. I see you on the back row. Um, yes. Um, so <laughs> while, while you were speaking, I was going through some Twitter stuff here. Apparently, Disney Disney has been announcing a whole bunch of uh, Marvel stuff while we oh, were yeah, streaming. I'm looking at it now. Looking at um, it now. One thing that caught my eye was Ironheart was announced. Oh. Um, Dominic Thorne, Genius Inventor, Riri, or... I'm sorry, Dominic Thorne is Genius Inventor, um, Riri Williams, and Ironheart. Um, and I believe that is the character who took over for Iron Man? Yes. Um, mm mm-hmm. Young, 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 young black woman who took over for Iron Man. So yeah, I'm really kind of excited. Mm-hmm. I'm very excited for that. Yes. Um. Yeah. But my thoughts. Um. Yeah. Whelmed. Um. As, as TAC said, whelmed. It, it was an event. It was great. Glad we covered it because this would have been going on while we would have been doing Game Awards. Granted, we probably could have done a regular show. Got all the news. <laughs> Because around this time, we would have been on, we'd have got to game. <laughs> um, but hey, yeah. we're here. We're here now. We made a decision. We're here. Um, yeah, so Whelmed, it was a thing. We we got news. We saw trailers, all that stuff. Yeah. But I am thoroughly excited. Mm-hmm. I have, at least I have things. I thought it seems like most of the things that I should be looking forward to as far as games are primarily going to be on Switch. And we just got one of those. Thanks, Kev. So um, that's going to be a thing. Um, but yeah, I'm thoroughly excited because we can out here on Yes. I'm so happy. Thank you. Welcome to the show. We're glad to have you here. We're glad you made it. I'm so glad I could finally come. I mean, it's been how long? <laughs> um, yes. Moon Knight has also been announced. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Wait. Oh, so ti- so that's why Tiny has been showing up on Twitter. Um, apparently, Tiny Lister passed away today. Yeah. Yeah, I retweeted that. That's that's sad. It's like, <laughs> oh, not he's just up, today. He's up there in heaven now. Snatching gold chains from the angels. Not gold chains. Yo, I'm I'm literally looking I'm literally looking at the list of the Marvel Studio drops, and I'm like, I oh, am. Okay, hold on I'm for a moment. I'm a, I'm for all of this. Yo, hold up for a second. Okay, so a moment of respect here, and I don't really say that when it comes to Disney, but we hear. Mm-hmm. Um, they decided not to recast T'Challa. Yeah, I just, a- I just saw that tweet, too. That is um, a great decision. Black Panther 2, opening July 8th, 2022, is being written and directed by Ryan Coogler. Honoring Chadwick Boseman's legacy and portrayal of T'Challa, Marvel Studios will not recast the character, but will explore the world of Wakanda and the rich characters introduced in the first film. So he didn't even get a chance to film the second one? No. Nah. Dang. Mm-hmm. Nobody knew he was that sick. Nah, he hit he hit it well. Wow. It like, oh, there's a new oh, there's a new sister act coming out. Ooh, my mama gonna be happy. A word. Mm-hmm. <sighs> so yeah. Oh. Like damn, they like Disney's like oh, oh, we're that slow. <laughs> we got all the series, all the Disney Plus stuff is coming out. Get ready. Yeah, that, 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 I'm 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 glad Disney is doing that. Um, uh-huh. Oh, um, and I am proud to announce for everybody who was thoroughly annoyed by it. Whoop watch is officially ended. Whoop whoop mm-hmm. whoop 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 Quiet. <laughs> I think that's. I think that was that was cool. That was cool. Yeah. yeah. It was one of. Okay. Now it's like. Mm. I just feel empty for some reason. <laughs> would, would it help you? If the, would it help to let you know that um, Fantastic Four is coming? 
to to be to be fair, there's, there's one. I was thing, honest watching all of this. Here. If, Christian if, Bell's coming to Thor. If if like Marvel, if like Fantastic Four does not lead into the Skrulls arc, then I think I would be big time disappointed. So that way we can get kind of like a Secret Wars thing going. Like, that has to happen. I mean, it kind of happened with, with Captain Marvel, but I think they need to retouch on that some more. And, uh, ah, man, that movie. and plus, how are they going to do the thing? That's really the big important thing. Because how they handle the thing is going to set the tone of the movie. <laughs> Because because the thing is just there. <laughs> he's a part of the team. He's a part of the squad. How are they going to handle the thing? And if they do the thing wrong, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be noticeable. Like fan four stick, they did they did thing wrong, and then you couldn't you couldn't escape it. <laughs> and the Sony ones, they did thing okay, but he looked, but he looked off which i like the practical effects but he did look kind of like yeah this is this is just a guy in a big rock suit <laughs> which wasn't a problem and it wasn't distracting but it was just one of those things like yeah i see the zipper <laughs> it's like i literally no, I can see the zipper, the zipper. Oh i can see the zipper but other than that it's fine it's like so they're gonna have to come mid they're gonna have to come if they did what they did to Marco to, to Mark Ruffalo in as, as Hulk in that vein, I'm fine with that. <laughs> I mean, it's not like Disney ain't got the money. Yeah, Disney got the money. I mean, shit, they got Disney, Pixar, ILM. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let me see. I think I think Marvel has been the has been the best purchase that Disney has done. Like Star Wars. They get they keep getting in the way of Star Wars, but Marvel they pretty much let Kevin Fe Kevin Feige do what he do do what he does best, and that's when and that's when success happens. Like Joss Whedon and you know let them do what they do and stay out of their way and let them make you money, and that is good. But with Star Wars, they're always trying to get in there and like mm, let's get in there. And I'm like, no, don't do that. <laughs> Stay out of it. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm. That's all I'm gonna say about Star Wars right now, because I could talk an hour about it. So. Star Wars. Yeah. And Andor. Who told? Yeah, we wanted a, a Captain Andor movie. <laughs> Captain Andor series. Who said that was a good idea? Mm -mm. No. Somebody, somebody back there co-signed. Some somebody thought that was a good idea. I hated Captain Nando. <laughs> and I was like, no fam. Mm -mm. Javier Javier Bardem ass. No. <laughs> nah fam. I don't want that. The bad batch. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier airing on March 19th. Huh. Um, so anything else that you all may want to cover? I know we've been here for an extended amount of time. The only thing I want to, at this point, I'm just like, I think I might want to cover my body with a blanket and like slip into slumber. <laughs> but, um... Mm. Um, let's see. Let me see if I can cover some quick highlights real quick. Um, let's see. Shout out to Hades for not crunching. If you are playing Cyberpunk 2077, of course, they put the, um, they put the notice at the front of the game. Um, but please be careful. That game is known to induce seizures in people. Yeah. Okay, Using a on, device that... that. Yeah. But let's, let's have a moment about that because it's kind of important. Yeah. The thing about seizures is that a lot of people who suffer from them aren't necessarily aware that right. that is going to be the case or that something is going to induce an episode. Mm -hmm. 
until they're in the middle of the experience of having one. And there is a core mechanic in the game where in order to explore certain parts of it, you have to be paired up to a machine. The sequence of being paired up to the machine involves a bunch of red and white flashing lights, which are used to medically <laughs> test and induce seizures so if that's a thing that you if you've been known to have seizures if you know people who have epilepsy and all this other stuff please be careful please don't do it don't do it mm, right <laughs> um yeah like from what i understand because i was reading the article apparently the device that the, the device you're talking about that they use that's critical so looks similar and acts very similar to a device that doctors actually use to test to see if you ha um, um, suffer from epileptic seizures. So it's like, and the thing that makes me mad about it is that the reason why that came out is because someone was testing the game and they're just like, oh, well, I didn't know that they had put this in here because there was no warning. And I ended up having actual like the worst level of seizure possible behind this running into that sequence so like y'all don't do it mm -hmm. do not do it because you can't you can't skip it is the thing like it is not an item that you can skip because they haven't added an option for you to turn that off or avoid it in any way shape or form wow. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So people started doing things like suggesting different monitor settings and all this other stuff you could use to try to mitigate the effect for people who have like, I have regular experience with this and this is how I have to deal with this in my normal everyday life. But yeah, if you like if seizures are you, you do not want this. Okay. Yeah, this is about as like this issue here is about as big as that Pokemon episode from back in the 90s. Yeah. With a uh, poly Porygon. Yeah. Um, so yeah, please, please be careful out there if you were playing this game. Um, yes, I will probably split it. I will try to find some. Well, I'm gonna release. So yes, obviously at this point I am gonna release the vibe. But again, just with the taking out the Demaka parts. Right. Um, let's see. Destiny Two is gonna be cross play on Stadia and more in 2021. Um, so that way I can finally play this game on PC and Anka can play on P an Xbox and I don't have to worry about that again. Yes. <laughs> um, so Facebook has been hit with two massive lawsuits from the FTC in 46 states seeking a spinoff of Instagram and WhatsApp. And please, can we include Oculus in yes. those lawsuits, please? I agree. Hit up by the, hit up by the, the whole Department of Justice. Mm -hmm. Mark Zuckerberg, your life is a mess right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ease up off them. Um, also, and I apologize for this, um, North Carolina Senator Tom Tillis is, Ooh, is working nice. with big old companies, you know, that really believe in Demaka to charge people with felonies for these DMCA strikes. What? Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, like they're trying to they're trying to escalate this nonsense. Now, here's the lovely the, uh, the the unseasoned. Now, for notes, because I need y'all to pay attention to this stuff. In the United States, in most states, mm -hmm. if you're charged with a felony, you can't vote. Oh, that's. Yep. Every time someone says, we're trying to get this escalated to a felony, the first thing I think is, I know that felonies come with a number of things, but in most states, having a felony means that you cannot vote. Mm. And in some states, forever. So, like, bruh, you mean to tell me you're just about to, like, bring up this whole thing to, to like, the level of a felony for literally playing music that may or may not have a copyright when the videos can just be removed. Yep. Doing too much. They really are. For what, for what, like, for what reason? Like, for what reason? Because mm -hmm. it's not like 
there's any form of material damage that you have done to somebody by playing their music with you know and getting a copyright strike if you if anything it'll just be like oops well you're just gonna have to delete that four hours of work you just made and aside from that absolutely nothing Mm -hmm. Um, i'm gonna say the future in which all the ashy unseasoned folk are really really realizing that they're losing at this point and i'm like really because i mean are y'all gonna slap twitch with the felony are you coming for jeff bezos and his bank account with the felony is that what you're doing i like I no do. he's gonna pass on the savings on to you yeah mm-hmm. i will i will literally just be a dude in my room just talking to y'all and just chatting with no music oh, no i'm about to hit y'all with chill hop in the midnight they already said we can use their music it's a rap for me i got mm-hmm. smooth tunes and saxophones come oh, yeah. on yeah <laughs> i have yeah, I, I got pretzels so i'm good but that's what i'm saying like to to imagine like people like play, not being able to like play certain games because they're trying to duck the maca like again this is just not people who like yo i'm playing beyonce while I'm playing, while I'm playing Destiny, this is like, just as what happens is like you, games have these songs that are licensed, and you get dinged for that license. No, that that's not how that, that's not how that thing's gonna work. Mm-mm. Pro- like my my whole my whole streaming apparatus will change if that's the case. <laughs> like my whole stream, like I will literally just be like on pretzel talking to y'all about my day or you know or just reading the dictionary or whatever <laughs> now that look so i can claim rights to that hey we own the rights to these words you're reading out of this book <laughs> Oxford don't eh. Come out of eh. excuse me but yeah. <laughs> no 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 <laughs> abacus noun <laughs> So, you know, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much, that's pretty much the thing. I don't, like I say, I don't see that. I don't see this thing going anywhere because thank because thankfully there's, thankfully, you know, there's going to be, there's going to be backlash because of course there's going to be backlash and there's going to be advocacy groups and there's going to be people up in there and people have been calling. So I don't necessarily my hope is that it does not that it does not live but i do i will say a big you tried it tamar braxton you tried it i mean we at least we beat sopa we beat pippa yeah but it's like it's the nerve it's the nerve it's part of it is the nerve but part of it like Oh, oh my god okay so here's the thing how long are we expected to have to be hyper vigilant about every damn thing that the government is out here doing to just be like no we just had to fuck up your day for no good reason mm-hmm. exactly like honestly the person who proposed this whomever they are should be just like charged for treason or beaten with wet noodles until they act like they have some sense and and the, and the part that irks me the most is like these platforms should be like up in arms and yet they are silent <laughs> like that is the point that irritates me because i'm like you could see you could see like creators literally like the whole democra strike things any like the whole democra strike thing anyway like people were all up in arms all up in a way and twitch was silent for a good possible two weeks, maybe at least two weeks, maybe more. And then no. all of a sudden, then mm-hmm. it's like, then all of a sudden it's like, oh, we probably should address it. Hey guys, let's address it. And I'm like, no, everybody's hair is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was deleting whole blocks of, of VODs and clips. And I'm like, oh crap, we can't monetize those. We can't flip those. Oh, hey, hey, everybody, chill. You know, like, you know, like, you can't have people dangling to the point. I was at the point, like, look, if y'all want my channel so much, add that bitch, you know, because I ain't changing. I ain't got no Demarca clips. 
I ain't deleting no clips. I ain't deleting no vods. If you want to take my channel away from me, take it. But pay me for my. But pay me for my extras. Run me my coins. Run me my coins, and I will go some. And I'll just go back to YouTube again. Whatevs. Mm -hmm. Because that's that's the way it, that's the way it goes. And you know, so I'm like, I ain't deleting nothing. And if I'm deleting it, I'm gonna save it. <laughs> So, so yeah, like, mm -mm. so like the platform needs to do better in communicating to its, to its like creators about, Hey guys, um, we're, we're gonna, yeah, we know you guys are mad about it. We know you guys are like upset, but, uh, calm down. We're going to talk to our, we're going to talk to our people. And we're gonna get an advocacy group together, and we're gonna make it work, y'all. Just, just calm down, you know. Calm the community down. And yet, no. And yet, no. And yet, no. So. Because I mean, that'd be too easy. That would be just too easy. Oh yeah, it'd be too. E yeah, it'd be too easy, of course. But still, it's like, bruh. <laughs> yeah. You, 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 you know, like, you know, especially you should be, you should be like, you should be one of the first, you should be one of the first people to be like, hey, yo, calm down, fam, calm, settle, settle everybody. It's, it's not, it's okay. It's okay. Calm, settle, settle. We're going to get it. We're going to get everybody together. Nope. Just going to let people dangle, let people dangle for a couple weeks. And then when the shit start to hit the fan and <laughs> all of a sudden it's like, oh, and everybody started getting roasted in vat in vat in what was it variety? People got roasted. Hmm. Twitch got roasted. When the when the article started coming out, it was like, oh, oh, I think we better, I think we better uh, address this. All right. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I think we need to call Variety again and say, hey, fire up them typewriters. Well, Stop roasting again. Well, because. The, yeah, because if if that if you got to be roasted in mainstream media <laughs> to get the point across, when you should just be like literally saying like, "Yeah, I think we need to handle that." <laughs> mm -hmm. I say, get your attention, send the ass to Congress. Uh oh, <laughs> like Zuck, <laughs> it takes up the Congress. Right. Mm hmm. Like on God, it's just like between the, like with all of this stuff that we're what I'm seeing and hearing, it's like they're trying to do everything they can before January. Mm -hmm. They trying. Y'all need to take a, take your ashy selves to bed. Leave us alone. Yeah, like y'all y'all picking at y'all picking at people as if we don't have time. <laughs> they are so bored. That's the, yeah. so they bored. they just mad they just mad they just mad they homie lost and now they just try something. They just trying to make everybody feel as as like grimy and dirty as they feel right now. Oh yeah. Totally. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let me let me not. Mm -hmm. Um can we can we talk about a thing real quick? Yeah. Friends, can we have a word Please. about some stuff? Please. Yes. Please. So yesterday, not even a whole twenty four hours ago, Twitch released an update to their Hateful conduct and harassment policy. Yeah, I seen that. Ah, I chuckled. Have we have we peeped? I, I new peeped. in the policy as a consequence. Um, I, I'm just going to start quoting the article at this point, so y'all hang in there. Mm -hmm. To ensure we provided adequate detail, we've broken the policy out into three sections for harassment, hateful conduct, and sexual harassment, and we'll walk through the key takeaways for each. Words and actions have meaning and impact, even if your intent is not meant to be hurtful or cause harm. Ah! Mm -hmm. It's a policy for harassment, hateful conduct, and sexual harassment. I'm just, you know what? I'm going to keep reading. Even if the target of your behavior or comments isn't bothered by them, others in the community may nevertheless feel impacted by it. Under the new policy, our safety team will look at the content of statements or actions in order to determine whether a behavior is abusive and violates our guidelines rather than relying solely on perceived intent. Does that mean y'all are reviewing this or having a robot do it? 
Continuing, as a consequence of this, our assessment of some areas, including types of harassment, may rely on indications that a behavior is unwanted, including channel timeouts, bans, or reports from the targeted user or a mod team. This will provide us with the necessary context to ensure we aren't punishing people for good-natured or competitive banter that is sometimes accepted in some communities. That said, we'll continue to weigh both the perspective of the reporter and the content under review to reach a determination. We expect these changes to improve overall enforcement consistency as they reduce subjectivity in the review process. In other words, what they're going to use as a guide is, did someone get timed out or banned for saying what they said? It's going to be interesting because I've seen people bot created with some hateful nonsense. So continuing. <laughs> Harassment encompasses targeted attacks through attention seeking behaviors that are designed to disrupt harm or hijack a community or stream. <laughs> For example, Claiming that the victim of a well-documented violent tragedy is a crisis actor or is lying, encouraging others to DDoS, hack, dox, or swat another person, or inciting malicious raids of another person's social media profiles off Twitch. I would love to know who is going to go back to enforce all of that for everything that Zombie has had to deal with for like the last two weeks alone. Right. When is that happening? Oh, wait, what wait, hold on. Numbers? To see this new policy no, will take let you say it. <laughs> wait oh, okay actually i'm gonna go let you say this go ahead okay wait, this new this. policy will take effect on january 22nd 2021 so i imagine the, the uh, state so if you were to ask big daddy twitch daddy bezos over there um uh-huh. or uh what's it was it, it was schmear eric schmear or whatever his name is or dj wheat Perfect. Oh. Hey, when you gonna um, implement? You, you gonna you gonna help out Zomb- Zombie Kills? Um, I swear, I keep blanking on the other creator's name who went through that same shit like the, at the same time. Um, uh, UK Cipher Saga. Um, saga. Yeah, Cipher. Yeah. And then Cipher Saga. Saga. Well, mean, Cipher. Cipher. That's like a a, a a faucet, a, a faucet that just won't turn off with her, unfortunately. Nah. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so if you were to ask, you know, DJ Wheat, hey, you gonna look out for these creators who've been constantly harassed? Did it happen on or after January 22nd? No, no, it happened yesterday. Like, t- today's the 10th of December mm-hmm. of 2020. It happened yesterday. Uh, mm-hmm. If it's not January 21st, 2020, or 20, or if it's not January 22nd, 2021, they just ass out. No, like it's a you know no because first thing no that's rude you know we we get the professional language about it we're gonna have to like make sure that we test and implement a program in place that is you know as holistic as possible and that'll take us a little bit of time yeah oh sorry sorry (laughs) professional language of course sorry um (laughs) hateful uh hateful conduct um harassment becomes hateful conduct when the attack is based on identity characteristics, particularly race, ethnicity, color, caste, national origin, immigration status, religion, sex, gender, gender identity, sexual orientation, disability, serious medical condition, and veteran status. The following changes should be noted. Emotes are an important of how we can are an important part of how we communicate with each other on Twitch, but they can be used maliciously. So, emo mm-hmm. combinations, even without additional text used in chat, will be held to this policy. Given its historic and symbolic association with slavery and white supremacist groups in the U.S., displaying the U- Confederate flag is prohibited. Sexual harassment. While this has always been prohibited on Twitch, we've heard from our community that our guidelines that inadequately account for harassing behaviors that are sexual in nature. So we've updated this with the following. Notably, repeatedly commenting on someone's perceived attractiveness, even in what you believe to be a positive complimentary manner, is prohibited unless there's an indication that it's un- uh, pro- it's prohibited if there's an indication that it's unwelcome. 
for example, being asked to stop, timed out, or channel banned. Making lewd or explicit comments and about anyone's sexuality or physical appearance is prohibited. Note that we do not make an exception for public figures. Um, also, sending unwanted and unsolicited links to nude images or videos is also prohibited. <laughs> and then they are going to have um, a review for on the 11th at 10 a.m. for Creator Camp, probably PST, to talk about the policy changes. Um, we're going to have an overview of a town hall again at 10 a.m. on the Twitch channel for policy changes. And we're going to have a FAQ on January the 6th. Um, there's also a link to reading the full policy of that. And then there's a whole FQ, FAQ section. Some of these are stricter. How are you impose how are you imposing the increasingly strict penalties for violations under this policy? Will you issue warnings before the new policy enforcement begins? Why are you delaying the enforcement? <laughs> how will this policy affect older content? How do you decide the length of a suspension? What do you mean when you say that you will allow the use of some words or terms that might otherwise violate your policy against hateful slurs? How do you determine which words, which words fall under this category? How do you determine if something is a hate symbol? How do you determine if something is a slur? How will you take action against harassment in cases where the user does not file a report? What do the community guidelines mean by first party reporting? Why is this policy stricter than some societal norms? And how can you enforce the sexual harassment policy in whispers? That part. Oh boy. That part. Mm. That part. Mm -hmm. That part. On the one hand, I want to be like, work is being done, attention is being paid to some things that have long needed that attention. But I'm also like, how are y'all going to do this, though? Right. How are y'all going to do this? Because if you do that, like, with the record that we're currently on for 2020, I'm trying to figure out how we're going to get from there to the place where we're enforcing this policy. I don't get, I don't truly understand how that's going to work. And how, and how can you, and how can you enforce, how can you enforce that? Like, that you're, that like, if you, if you've not been able to enforce it before, how are you going to enforce it now? <laughs> it's like say, it's like saying, we, we've changed the locks, but you keep leaving the door unlocked. <laughs> right. <laughs> the fuck does that mean? <laughs> you got brand, you got brand new shiny locks, and you can't, and you ain't locked it. <laughs> oh boy. You just so how can you and how can you just basically change up stuff and you not locking your doors? Okay, so I do want to add a, well. I'm kind of circling away from like Twitch nonsense at this point because I'm like, y'all, we're just gonna have to see how that pans out and then probably drag them forward in January. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I need to talk about two things about this evening. So, and both of them are in the same vein and for the exact same reason. So, The Last of Us 2 had some. Um, real like had some particulars about it. Yes. Um, in the way that it treated one of the characters in the game, mm -hmm. who was a trans character. Yes. Um, and Cyberpunk also has some issues in how it presents. Um, how it presents you as a character mm -hmm. in your character building that is like super problematic when it comes to like trans identities for things like picking your voice versus your body type versus your pronouns and being like, hey, you can pick genitalia. And it's one of those, 
you know, there are a lot of ways for you to, you know, like, for people to exist or for you, for you to have put in that representation for things mm -hmm. without y'all having to just make the whole point of, but look, genitalia, like, okay, so y'all, I'm just going to go ahead and bring this to your attention in 2020. People are not solely the function of the genitalia they have. I'm going to need y'all to go ahead and let that concept go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So it had to be like, I want to like, this is a moment that I just want to like have a word for the people who may be listening to this, especially because they were watching the game awards and probably either felt one kind of hurt by the way that it was kind of like, yo, our game of the year is this thing where you saw people who identified as you kind of heavily traumatized and treated in not the best possible way. And also to have someone go, I really like working with a team who is notably transphobic. Right. I just want y'all to know that you're seen. Mm -hmm. I want you to know that you're seen, at least, you know, in this space and in most of the spaces that I hang out. You're seen and we love you and I get it because I felt the exact same way when I was watching people play Detroit Become Human and it's kind of like mm -hmm. y'all decided to just be racist to the brown people but lol they're robots so it's perfectly okay for you to do that and I'm like yo what if I told you it wasn't though right mm -hmm. it wasn't. what if we told you like what if we told Under you that the... was okay under the guise of trying to be not political, but making everything political about that game. Like, bruh. But then, and Serious? one, like, then, like, you said it wasn't political, then you tried to say it was in support of black people, but it wasn't either of those. It, yeah. I, just make, just shut up and make the game. If you don't have anything to offer to explanation of why you did the thing, just be like, yo, I'm, I can't. And, right. And to be honest, people would be like, yeah, your, your, your thought process is fucked, but at least we know where you stand. And I hate that. Where it's like, we just said, we, we didn't know because we're ignorant and we decided to tell a story that, was, that we thought was cool and then just kind of like fucked everything up. And we don't have an answer because we don't have an answer. Don't answer questions you don't have answers to. Because the answers are dumb. <laughs> because yeah, whatever your people answer do that is, shit anyway dumb. for anything, right? And then they get roast, and then they get roast, and then they're on the record, and they get roasted forever when you literally did not have an answer. You had no answer. You could just not said anything. <laughs> yeah, you could just not say anything. This is all silence is free. Eat your food. Eat yeah, your food eat, in the corner and be quiet. Yeah, yeah eat your food. <laughs> eat your food. Yeah. The fact that y'all are the fact that people are looking like the fact that people are looking at at a game and seeing your company as transphobic when you when it's on you and somebody could have told you you could have hired somebody and said yeah fam that's not a good idea that's not a good idea you that's shouldn't like, do that um, president obama had a no guy to say no that's not a good idea to do that why don't these people have that right <laughs> Because they, they, they don't want to pay us because they don't want us in that room most of the time. Like, right. do you have any idea? Okay, I just, you know, to put this another way, do you have any idea how much 2020 would not have been fucked up if y'all would have asked a single, and I just mean just one, 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 person. Black, person, one black person, one trans person, one, mm -hmm. LG, one other LGBT person of any kind mm -hmm. about the thing that you thought was such a good idea? Like, if you just ask anybody by the people that you're talking about if it was a good idea, Y'all wouldn't have done half of like we would not have done literally half of this year in yeah, nonsense. It's on exactly. my board and everything exactly. else. Just yeah, one. Exactly. Just one. Anyone. We literally had hundreds of people making threads month after month after month about, hey, talk to me about these things I consult on stuff. And y'all didn't do it. And you mm -mm. know, you know they got people watching social media. So what's the pro what's the disconnect? What is mm -hmm. going what? to What's not clicking? <laughs> going to the hat, going to the hashtags, going to the at symbol, where's, going where, to the mentions, where, where's and being my like, I got yo. cash in there that can show you what the problem is. Right. Wow. So you want to get paid? Oh fuck that. Now nah, we good. Right. We got it. Wasn't it wasn't even so much. It wasn't even much like getting paid. It was more like, hey, it? hey, don't do that. That was it. I mean, 
in some it was cases, for free. Like, don't. It's either don't do that or actually do that. Case yeah. in point. Can we just once again, because I'm going to shout out these two forever and every single time we ever talk about this game, mm. let's talk about the fact that Mirror Mirror and Ebonic Sims are about to make Sims, the whole company, money hand over fist for adding skin and hair textures. Like, right. y'all, like, again, y'all could have asked like one person and said, like, hey, how do y'all feel about this skin and hair and done what they told you and could have had that money earlier? Right. It's, li- it's literally just somebody telling you this we want this we need that we do this and i had somebody i had somebody who i was talking to be we was talking about fortnite there was some issues about fortnite and i told him i said just at adam and at them and say this is the problem and the first thing he says like well why that's not going to solve anything and i said that kind of backwards ass thinking is the reason why we don't have shit today because no one feels the need to tell people what they need to tell them and that's what ends up happening and that's what ends up companies keep doing predatory and predatory and toxic business practices Y'all, because look, we accept it look, and allow it no 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 it's look y'all may no. hate this bird out but I live by this fucking bird app. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This bird, this I bird live app, by this, the fucking bird app. This, let this let me be inconvenienced in any way. App. Let, let yeah. me be inconvenienced in any way. Shit breaks. Motherfucker, I'm not calling them support number because half these motherfucking no. companies don't have one nowadays. Right. I'm, I'm right here adding. on the Twitter app adding the fuck out of them. Right. I complimented Period. a company and they sent customer retention after me. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm now. I want to throw this out too. That being said, uh, a pause because I do want to mention one other thing real quick. If you play those games, listen, I have nothing to say for y'all because it's like real difficult out here. The way that America as a whole is set up for you to play a game that is not made by problematic companies or problematic people or doesn't right. have problematic content. It's like it's like a minefield and me yes. trying to like it's like a minefield where the mines are visible, but you still can't help but step on them. Right. Like, it's just that whole thing. Mm-hmm. So I'm not coming for you, but I do right. want to like, it's one of those things. Like if you play the game, but you're about that life in general, it's a game that some people have been waiting for, for like eight years and some change. Right. I, yeah. I feel like there needs to be, there needs to be room for some level of nuance here when it comes to this stuff. Mm-hmm. Like there has to be, because you can't, <sighs> I do not have, um, I know I don't in any way. I, on a lot of levels in a lot of different ways, all the way down to president, presidential elections, choosing officials, city officials, and any of that stuff. I don't have the privilege to live purely by my morals and do absolutely nothing else. I right. don't. Like, I have to compromise somewhere all the time. And I am aware yes. that a lot of people have to do that for different reasons. Some mm-hmm. of y'all are just like, I, I didn't, I did not ask and I do not want to opt into having to make a moral and philosophical decision every time I want to boot up my PlayStation 4 and play a game. I've been waiting for this game for like two years, six years, eight years, 13 years. We see you Kingdom Hearts 3 and whatever. And we bought the game anyway. I'm not... I'm not here to drag y'all because y'all right. didn't make the game. The companies made the game. The companies mm-hmm. did the crunching and did all this other stuff. I'm not coming for y'all, but where you can, I would like to encourage you. If you can do things that keep your other brothers and sisters in mind, um, men, non-men, neither. Right. Um, and our LGBT friends, in your awareness, if you're about that life at every other time, I'm not going to bother you about Cyberpunk 2077. I'm not. Like, if I see you out here, like, walking these Twitter streets, keeping people in check, keeping your friends in check, keeping your family in check, making sure that this representation is on and popping and all this other stuff and all that, I'm uh, I'm going to have to let y'all have that game. Like, y'all can. It's fine. Like, right. we're, 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 we're good. We're Gucci. It's just the, the people who are... It's the people who engage with it and are just like, I don't see how this is a problem or where this is a problem or why this is a problem that I'm going to take issue with in right. these situations. Mm-hmm. Like the issues are right there. People are telling us what those issues are. But if right. you're just like, 
I am aware of that issue going into it, but mm -hmm. also things like, hey, I bought the game because it was something I was really looking forward to, or hey, I literally have a job where I am paid to play this game and talk about it. So yes. go and play the game and talk about it. Yes. That's the thing that people have. And unless yes. you're about to run them these coins, I'm gonna need y'all to keep that to yourself. Yes. <laughs> I mean, one thing I saw too, because um, I, I I poked in a couple of streams, because I'm, I'm I am legit interested, and yes, I did purchase the game. I'm flat out, I did purchase it. Um, what I what I, saw, um, I stopped in Cipher of Tears stream earlier today, and I sat in there long enough just just to see what was going on, but I happened to catch her bot messages that were coming through, and one is like it just falls out like, look, this game has all of this problematic shit in it and i will totally get if this is not your cup oh, of tea. we got a raid over here hey. let's go yo let's go looks hey. like hey. running hey, friends it's a running bull raid yo running bull what's good with you you know we out here celebrate i mean out here in the raleigh streets raleigh durham streets even though we can't be out there because it's a pandemic don't go outside yeah don't do it it's cold yeah and, and it's cold yes it's now cold now i, f I forget see when you don't go outside you don't know what temperature is outside um, it's true. <laughs> no. My, my wife called me one day. She was like, It's cold. I said, Sucks to be you, then. It's mm. nice and toasty. Wow, you did. I didn't tell her that, but I thought, <laughs> mm -hmm. I ain't out here in these streets. <laughs> Crazy. Mm. Oh, man. Thank you. Thank you all. Um, um, yeah, so yeah, welcome. This is Tech Talk Thursdays. Of course, we we, we weren't going to do a show. This is kind of a light, you know, kickback. We've been here for shit, fucking how long is this? Four hours now? Four hours, yeah. Four or five hours? <laughs> away, honestly. Um, yep. I am too. <laughs> Uh, so this might this might be the last this might be the last um, thing we like, last topic we talk about before we head out. Um, yeah. But yeah, like I like what Cypher Tier had. Where it's mm -hmm. like she she put out said, look, this game has all of this problematic shit. Like there were even like, again, like every time I go into a cipher stream and find out there's like, you know, there there are more terms I learn. Mm hmm It's like, yo, like people out here really out here wilding. Y'all mm -hmm. y'all is bigoted on a whole bunch of shit. Like mm -hmm. I don't get it. <laughs> I I don't mm -hmm. get it, but mm -hmm. Y'all just be hating a lot of different folks. Mm -hmm. But, like, she spelled out, said, look, this game has all of this. And, like, again, knowing that she's getting paid to play. If I'm not mistaken, she's getting paid to play. I think she's a sponsored streamer for um, CD Projekt Red. Um, mm -hmm. But, like, letting people say, look, I understand. If this ain't you, this is what's in it. You may want to stay, you may want to steer clear. Mm-hmm. And it was up to where I was like, I almost wanted to copy that and stick that in my bot if I decided to stream it. But I was like, yeah, I'm not streaming this game. What what the fuck are we even but, talking about? Nah. Um, and, and also, like, that's another thing, too. The people that I normally roll with, and that's the other thing, too. Like, if you have people who are playing this game, most of the time they're aware of this and they'll call that stuff out while playing the game and yeah. be like, so yeah. I'm playing that's the game that. and I love y'all, but I'm going to drag y'all. I'm going to drag this game, too, because, listen, mm -hmm. the game needs to be dragged. But that's also... That's it's, what that's what I that's what I always be talking about. Like you you can play you can play the games and be like, yep, I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit. And just be like, yeah. And just be like, call out people because what what have we what have we devised the phrase that we have devised on this podcast? I say I love y'all, but fuck you. <laughs> like that's basically it. like you. The whatever you've done, the overall, it's a, it's a, it's, it's this. But fuck you for all this. Fuck you for this shit. Fuck you for this shit. Fuck you for this shit. Just because you love somebody, just because you like somebody, doesn't mean you can't drag them. You can't say, hey, you fucking up, fam. And here's, a, and here's an itemized list of what you've done wrong. And also what Sin, and also what Sin said. Like, I'm not going to drag nobody for it. I might give you, you know, I might look at you and be like, okay, sure. And there's an asterisk when a, when you play the game. But I'm not going to be like, yo, hey, fam, don't play that game yeah. because these it's, reasons. It's a thing but for me. It's like, as long as you acknowledge it. Like, for me, it's like, yeah, you have do to, you, you acknowledge, like, acknowledge this it. shit is here? It right. was one thing I was concerned it. about when I was watching people cover it for, um like, 
for gaming press. And there were so many people who didn't acknowledge it, but at least the people that I do watch, they did at least mention it, but it was almost like, yeah, like they kind of lumped it in with controversy. Right. Not so much like, yeah, like there's a big issue with this. Um, And they, it's like they spent more time thinking about the crunch than they did about the content of the game. Um, also like, mm. again, just hearing that there's just an unseemly amount of dildos in this game, which, <laughs> and bugs. Well, there's that, but I mean, bugs I can deal with in video games, but this isn't Saints Row and they're not, and they're not playing it for laughs. They're playing it like for their edge lordy nature. Mm-hmm. Like I, 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 I want to see what this is about for myself, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know if I got time for 12 year old giggle fits. Mm-hmm. I, I deal with that on the internet as a mod and multiple servers. Like I just, I don't have time for this bullshit, but yeah. here we are. Yeah. If I find, if I even closely remotely find myself playing it, it's like, a, I'm not going to stream it. B I'm gonna buy that bitch on sale. <laughs> Deep ass discounts. And I'm going to buy it on the and I'm going to buy it on Steam. Where 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 CD Projekt Red ain't going to get that this ain't going to get that. They're going to take that thirty percent split. Yeah, so I I did pick so it up on Steam. I, I, yeah, I picked it up on Steam. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going I'm not going the GOG route. Fuck them. They could take the split. <laughs> you know, like they can they can take thirty percent of like twenty dollars when I do buy it, if I do buy it. So. It is what it is. See, if I thought about it, and I actually, if it wasn't for the fact I wanted to see the ray tracing, because I honestly want to see this game just for the technical aspects of it. That ray tracing is mm-hmm. nice. Right, that's yeah. what I want to see. It, like, so I picked it up on Steam, and I'm playing it on GeForce now, so I can get the RTX stuff, because I do not have hardware to do that natively. Um, mm-hmm. But if yeah, if I really wanted to give it a hit, I don't know who I would have been hitting, but at least in my head, if I picked it up on Stadia. Cause they're still doing like if you buy the game now, you'll still get that you you still get that Stadia premiere. Not just a pre, it's not even pre order now. It's like you buy the game and you get the controller and the Chromecast. Mm. So it's almost like hmm, I could pay sixty dollars, get the Chromecast Ultra and the controller, and then I get a free copy of CD Projekt Red. Mm-hmm. Like that's how that's what I would have told myself. Yeah. But um, but. yeah, yeah. My whole thing is is like. It's like I'm glad, like you know, pleasantly twisted. Uh, um, she had t- like she had kind of explained this, and again, I'm glad there are people out here who do not have to do this. They are not being paid to do this, but they do take that time to explain it. Because like I mean, for me, like my attention split too many places. Yeah, and it's I'm glad there is someone who is taking that time, who is explaining a lot of this shit. Because yeah, like me trying to toe a line is really difficult. Um, but here I am on Twitch ordering shit from Amazon and eating food from Walmart and God knows how many other problematic places because, because we capitalism. have to, we yeah. have to like, no, like, you know, you don't, you don't want to buy, you don't want to be, be buying stuff on Amazon, but Amazon is just so convenient and affordable to get the things that you need that comes to the house, two day shipping. It just, it just works out so well, but yet. The pandemic has like has like made it you know made it uncomfortable to do so. Like going to Walmart, going to like going to Walmart and picking up stuff because it's conven- it's convenience in an inconvenient world. Like I remember last week, like I ordered some stuff from Black Friday, and we like dr- I dr- like drove over to to like Walmart and we just parked and then the late and then i checked in and then a lady came out outside and just put the stuff into the back seat in the car and we were and we just we never had to get out of the car we never had to get out of the car we hadn't looked at nobody that's the conv- that's convenience in an inconvenient world that i vibe and respect so you know i mean that's just that's just the way we go but if it, if it was if we were in a a better world than I would that I'd have just been like, yo, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to Black Friday. I'm jumping over. I'm buying whatever I need, but I can't do that now. So I, I would, you know, like it, it would be different. 
So it's like we all have to make those moral equivalencies that we we have to do, but we still have to be we still have to be open and honest with ourselves and be able to question the bad behaviors of what people do and be like we have to call people out on their shit. Be like, no, fam, you can't do. Like, yes, I love buying on Amazon, but Amazon workers need to be treated better than this. Yeah, you know, you could still support but then you still have to speak out on bad issues mm-hmm. just like maybe not maybe not buy or or just be like maybe just not buy everything on amazon maybe buy something else somewhere else maybe buy some on new egg maybe buy some stuff on best buy maybe do curbside stuff maybe go to target and do the curbside stuff buy some stuff at different places you know so you know where it's possible have, yeah where, where, possible. Where, where it's possible but if it's like if it's a matter of not having that thing or getting that thing, then yeah, go to Amazon. It's just, most people are so they don't just doing one or two extra steps is too much for them. So they're just like, eh, okay, yeah, they're terrible, but I don't have to go out of my way to get something, so I'm still gonna do it. Mm-hmm. And that's the issue. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like yo, I'm like speak on that. Shit. I'm like, speak out that shit. I'd be like, mm, I don't like that shit. Mm-mm. Y'all, y'all need to do better, you know. I mean, that it is what it is, but you got to do better than that. Mm-mm. Like, be able to speak out on that. Yeah. Be able to talk about that stuff. I'm like, yeah, I ain't going. Like I say, I, 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 I loathe Twitch, and I ain't going nowhere because I want change to happen here. If I leave and try to find someplace else to go, no, I'm going to stay in here and make this platform that I'm on better. And be like, no, I'm dragging. No, Emmett, you're not doing that. <laughs> Emmett, do better, Emmett. <laughs> that's why I call. That's why I say name and shame. Yeah, that I call image the name here. Yeah, image here. That's I say, em- <laughs> image yeah, here. Yeah, Emmett. Okay. I say, I say, hey, Emmett, do better. Hey, Sundar, do better. Hey, Mark, do better. Hey, Tim, do better. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, Tim, be like. I'm on nowhere near first first name but basis with these people. But I feel like when you call and invoke somebody's name, you got to let them know. Be like, hey, yo, I'm talking to you, fam. Mm-hmm. I'm talking to you, Emmett. You're not doing the right thing. You're letting black women fall by the wayside and you need to do better. If you if you about making more women of color especially black women partners and twitch affiliates then you got to then you got to go in and, and protect them because you can't have your employees or your your employees or your creators out here looking a mess feeling a mess so do better do better yeah. or yeah do better or or pity party in your mansions <laughs> and that's it that's my little rant let, let them know, Kevin. Let them yeah, know. Let them, like, let the thing let is, them know. <laughs> like, like, no, not even this. Okay, like, understand something. Yeah. Normally, the stuff that Kevin is doing right now, that's me on this podcast. <laughs> like, you know you have to be on some special nonsense for Kevin to have to be like, nah, Sin, I got this this week. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. You can go, have, your, have yourself some water and a I'm well-deserved the break. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the, I'm not the reads... I'm not the reads guy, but I always have reads. I'm, I'm never the read guy. I'm always of the mindset of if you hear me, if you hear me yelling at you, you've truly fucked up. Because <laughs> I'm usually the guy. I'm usually the guy that's like, either I, either I'm like, either I'm there the, or I'm the not volume, there. Right <laughs> yeah, I'm not the volume. Yeah, it's like. If you don't see me, you fucked up because because I'm out this mug. You know I'm not staying in the world where I don't feel wanted. There'll be a Kev, there'll be a Kevin shaped hole in existence where I leave. Like reality hasn't reformed yet to occupy the space that I left. <laughs> That's how it has got <laughs> You know that whole thing in like those old cartoons where someone would run so fast it would leave a cloud of smoke in the shape of that person. <laughs> or like, yeah, 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 that's that's <laughs> me. <laughs> it's like, where Kev go? Kev? Oh, Kev? Because that's just how I do. I'm like, I ain't got time for it. I'm out. 
I'm just saying, y'all, I'm out, peace. And even if I and if I didn't like ride there, I'm gonna be like, yo, I'm gonna be in the car. Bye, everybody. I'm in the car. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna be in the car watching Netflix, watching The Crown on Netflix on my phone. Come when come when you're ready. <laughs> Cause I'm not, ha- cause I'm not staying. I'm not just staying. I'm not. I'm just not sticking around anymore. <laughs> if I've left, you fucked up. Damn. And if I hadn't told you, if I hadn't told you bye or yeah, guys, I'm finna go. And if I just dip on your asses, that's it. <laughs> so now I know. Now I know what to look out for when I'm fucked up. Mm-hmm. When you don't fucked up and you don't see me and you ain't heard from me. Mm-mm. <laughs> so y'all seen Kev? Oh shit. He left like two hours ago. Mm-hmm. I, left two, I left two. I left two hours ago, and I took my p- p- potato salad home. But <laughs> nah, guys, I'm the kind of person who will be like, okay, so y'all know Kevin. Like, you'll be like, have y'all heard from Kevin? He hasn't said anything in two weeks. But you also know that this happened right around that time, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stop, Keep going. Put, Stop putting the timeline together. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. no, I, mean, I, I would just let you leave but not say anything because I'll be I'll DM you and be like you alright he's just like no I hate everybody okay I get it it's cool yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll stay up with you at least okay well I mean you know like it's one of those things like I get it because I'm also that person I'm not going to fight I'm not I'm not going to fight with y'all like mm-hmm. I'm, in my, I'm in my sweatpants eating Triscuits watching the crown what's up <laughs> see, that's why I'm, see this is why I'm trying to treat my host my, my, my co-host with respect because like I can't afford to miss nobody. <laughs> not not you with the triscuits and a pair of sweatpants. <laughs> yep. I already got the sweatpants now and I'm looking at two empty boxes of triscuits so that's my life. <laughs> But yeah, we don't play we don't yeah. play games around here. Yeah, I ain't go yeah, I ain't going to I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going oh nowhere, man. You got I, I ain't going nowhere. I'm like athlete's foot. You can't get rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> you can spray, whatever. I'm I'm staying as long as I'm gonna stay here. Okay? So oh my God. it is what it is. Oh, no. On that note, yo, let's wrap this <laughs> up. <laughs> my eyes is low. I love y'all, but my eyes Y'all see my eyes gradually get lower. Mm. <laughs> uh, well, before we lose Anka for good, let's talk with Anka. What you got going on this week? Um, I'm finishing up my nonprofit website. And- hey, hand clap the price. Oh no, something happened with that thing yesterday. <laughs> <Bruh>. <laughs> my phone was blowing up. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That thing blew up. I mm-hmm. y'all, I was trying to update WordPress and it said nope. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was like, bro. Not um, WordPress being disrespectful. It was being very, very. disrespectful. I you was hate, just like, you literally hate to see <laughs> it. Major said, uh, did you do something <laughs> like? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. No, but um, I um, I'm gonna uh, finish out a vlog for this week, y'all. It's been tight. It's been fun, but I'm tired. Like I'm so Yeah, this was tired. this was a long episode. Well no, not even this not even this. this no, it's talking about her vlog. She's been doing a daily vlog oh, for the yeah. month of December. She's been doing she's been doing vlogmas. So it's like daily vlogs every day. And y'all, I never hated video editing so much in my life. Mm. <laughs> I'm learning a lot. That's the that's the upside of this, but at the same time I'm just I'm ready for it to be over. And uh, there's 15 days left. You was about to say, like, so, you still got some time. <laughs> you still got some days. I got some days. Yep. You got some days. <laughs> yeah. True. Um, but other than that, I am just gonna. We got a um, in uh, the Weave Closet Discord. We got an anime watch party night going on at Saturday on Saturday at eight. If you guys want to stop by, we're gonna be watching Kamisana Kiss. And, uh, that's all I got going on for the rest of the week. We're gonna send out some Christmas cards, and that's about it. Nice. Dope, dope. Kev, not sure if you saw that important question. What kind of triscuits? <laughs> oh, what kind of tri- smoked gouda? Smoked gouda. Ooh. Yeah, I, I usually like dill and uh, olive oil, but smoked gouda has been what I've been snacking on uh, on the regular. Yeah, for real, for real. Cool, cool. So, what you got going on this week? Oh. Let me tell you. Okay. So, I did a host for, on Tuesday, I hosted on the Steam uh, store page for Team 17's 
new release of Monster Sanctuary. Imagine like Pokemon mixed with Castlevania, and that's pretty much what Monster Sa uh, Sanctuary is. It is big time fun. I had a blast streaming and doing the host. Actually, I did one hour, and another person had to be like, "Oh, I can't make it. I'm on. A, I'm on a work call, and work's crazy." And they're like, "And they're like, Kev, can you do another hour?" And I'm like, mm -hmm. "On it." Six. And I was like, and I said, "We're go we're keeping it going, fellas. We're keeping it going." <laughs> and I like, and I streamed for like two hours of that game, and I didn't get I didn't get tired. We named we named like we we had some great names like Leonidas. Blobby Joe, Thick Boy, and Flame Boy. That was a good time, and of like, course. and then literally streaming for like almost like eight hundred viewers. Yes. And it growth. felt like I was a yeah. That that's what you call growth. That growth. was definitely growth. And so I been so I just was like big time. Like had a great time, and it's a, and it's an awesome game. So if you have, if you're interested in that game, you could check it out on Steam. It's on. It's out on pretty much all the platforms, and it's also on Game Pass for free. So if you have PC Game Pass, I think it's on PC Game Pass and console Game Pass. So if you got Game Pass, you want to check that game out? Go check it out. It is so much fun. I have enjoyed it, and I've been like sneak playing it back and back and back and forth. And if you're wondering what's this in my hand, it's my square Chewbacca. So, uh, <laughs> I was so yeah, I was um, worrying that I was thinking I was, it was a question in my head. Yeah, so it's it's my it's my little Chewbacca. <laughs> so anyway, um, um, what what game is this again? It's called Monster Sanctuary, and it's on it's on Steam, PC Game Pass, and I think it's on Switch as well. But I think it's on all the platforms, but PC and Switch. Yeah, you just want to do a piece. Awesome. We, I was Thank like, you. Oh my gosh! Look at everybody out here prospering. Yeah, it was it yeah. it was it was aw it was awesome, and I was like, I pretty much told him on the slide, like, hey, you got more games going on. Let me know. Matter of fact, here's some of the games I want to be attached to. Let me go. Let's just go and put my name out there. Just go put me out there. <laughs> but yeah, that was that that was pretty much my week, uh, for me. Sin. Um, the rest of this week is going to be me trying to do like content strategy stuff for work. But as far as outside of work, um, I'm going to be recording another episode of Star Wars Legacies with the people from RPG Hour this Saturday. Oh, that's mm. dope. I play this uh, one particular character who is basically a big fluffy ball of vibes and is also the last known surviving member of the race that they're from. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> okay. 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 I was about to say, fluffy vibes, you mean a Wookiee? No. No? Okay. <laughs> we, we, do have, we do have a Wookiee. Who is a commanding officer on our ship? I am not the Wookiee, though. Okay. Does, does, do they speak in the language? They do speak Wookiee language, but I like I communicate with people telepathically, so I don't have to know their language to communicate with them. <laughs> but other people do. Oh, fantastic. Um, for me, let's see. Again, I'm I'm not gonna. Same old thing. Eventually, I will stream, but eh, we're not going to worry about that. Um, I did finally get my uh, Mac Mini, my um, M1 to Apple Silicon Mac Mini in. Again, like I've mentioned before, I, I think I've mentioned a couple of times, or at least yeah. in the video I shot um, last night. This is the Mac desktop of the Mac product, the Apple, the absolute Apple product that I've always wanted. When I first walked into an Apple store, when I wasn't feeling like my feet were going to burn because I was an Android fanboy at the time. Um, <laughs> when I walked in as I always saw the Mac Mini, and it was the computer I've always wanted. It was always like, was like I want to try Mac. That's it, because it was the cheapest one. Right, sweet. Um, but now with the Mac Mini having Apple Silicon, apparently it's a little bit more powerful than a lot of the other stuff that's out there based on Intel um, hardware, and for that low price. Mm -hmm. So I picked one up. So I've been using it for um. 
a couple of days now. Um, I do have an unboxing video out on the channel. We can go check it out. Um, you know, show, show our brother some love. I love doing these unboxing videos. I love sharing the knowledge that I have through these unboxing videos. And um, if you have any questions and stuff like that, hey, please feel free to ask. I'm always looking for more ideas for more video content. Like there are times when YouTube is the better outlet for me than Twitch because I don't feel like playing video games, but I feel like talking tech. That's why uh, with the help of these fine folks, we have this show because I mm -hmm. love doing this shit day in and day out. I will do this every day. Mm -hmm. But, you know, these folks have lives. Some sure. people are too busy, you know, editing videos and speaking Spanish. You know, <laughs> I wish I could live that life. Some people are being Star Wars characters. Some people are living their best life on stream. Some of us are rich enough to have Mac products. Right. Uh, that. that. Uh, <laughs> Period. Uh, uh, I could never. No. Um, Random thing, you know, like while we're out here they're talking yeah. about things that have made us happy this week, random thing. So mm -hmm. um, as part of a couple of things where I'm doing like a rebrand of my entire wardrobe, uh, this week we bought underwear. So, right, you're just like, oh, Lord, what? It was, I, you know, I mean, that. I mean was this a me, do we get a MeUndies sponsorship that I don't know about? <laughs> No, uh, but it was a very, you know, like a, a very simple purchase of things. But, you know, I think it's one of those, it's such a small, mundane thing, but it was just kind of like new underwear, cool, new mm -hmm. socks, yay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, socks yeah. And underwear and Big important, like... Like, I don't, I don't, un, like, I really didn't come to, like, appreciate, I didn't come to appreciate, like, socks and undies until I became an adult, like, mid-20s, where it's like, yeah, that shit, that shit's expensive, and when you have somebody that, like, here's, here's a pair of box, here's a pair of boxers, and I'll be like, you gave me what I need, and I'm like, I love you for this, like, that that kind of stuff was like, yeah, I love that. So if somebody could literally could just be like Christmas, here's all socks and undies, I would be like a happy camper because I'm like, dude, I'll buy my own games, I'll buy my own consoles. But if somebody wants to hook me up with your boy with some socks and some boxer briefs, I'm good with that. <laughs> so that's actually what my grandma used to do before she passed. Mm -hmm. Um, she like she did that for all of the grandchildren for Christmas. Um, well, unfortunately, like she had passed away. Um, I'm trying to do the math in my head. It's been about maybe it's been about 12. I think it's been 12 years. Um, this, like this past week. Um, mm -hmm. but one thing that my mom still does is that, um, for one, like on Christmas day, she still sets a place for my grandma at the, um, at the table. Cause we would normally gather around like, like a dining, it was like a dining room table. We gathered it because their tree was not too far away from it. She sets a mm -hmm. place at the dining room table for my grandma, pulls a cup of coffee for her um, at the spot. Nobody sits there. Um, and I still get socks and underwear that is from my grandma to this, like, the, like I'm, I'm, I'm still expecting them this year. That's, um, so I'll probably awesome. get some shipped or I don't know. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. My, my, my underwear delivery may be delayed because of COVID, but um, mm -hmm. like even after she passed, like it was still a thing that we did um, to remember her. It was like yep, Christmas always got that so the, the socks and underwear, and I love it. Mm -hmm. It was like one of the best things. Um, so um, yeah, that's amazing. That's awesome. I love stuff like that. Um, but yeah, let's see how many. Speaking of Christmas, what, what today's the tenth. That's 15 days, yeah. two weeks. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering if, I don't know, how you guys feel about maybe trying to get together a gift guide instead of talking about news? Yeah, we could def we definitely do that. Mm -hmm. Some games, some tech. Mm -hmm. Still got, it's still got some time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You yeah, do that. Um, yes. Yeah, so. Well, I guess we'll let you know what's going on. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. 
uh, for another Tech Talk Thursdays. Um, of course, we cover the Game Awards. Um, hey, if you want to share your thoughts on the Game Awards, definitely, um, especially for watching YouTube video, you know, comment down below. Send an email, um, ttt at majorshouse.com. If you want to email us, um, you can definitely hit us up at our various social medias, which will be in the show notes, the comments, I mean, the, the description of this video. Um, it'll be somewhere. I've been getting yeah. better about that because Sin got mad at me because I didn't, I wasn't including them before. Mm-hmm. Um, and shout out to Telia. I'm now putting episode numbers in these jokes because I lost track at one point. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, there's their episode um, numbers now. Um, mm-hmm. Yep, that's it for me. Thank you all. Thank you, Anka. Thank you, Kev. Thank you, Sin, for joining this. Evening. Thank you, everybody watching at home, you guys and girls. Are so amazing. Thank you all so much for joining. Of course, you all could have been anywhere in the world watching any stream in the world. You could have been watching the Game Awards yourself. But no, you chose to chill with us and roast these fools. Remember, yep. I'm looking out for Past and the Furious coming soon to a video game near you. <laughs> Past and the Furious. I hate Past and the Furious. Sorry, it. Dwayne to Rock Johnson. Um, I love <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all so much. And of course, all I've got left to say to you wonderful people is I love you. And peace out. Peace. Wakanda forever. <laughs>